Hello there, I'm Lou. In this video, we're going to set up your HP printer on Linux. But first, we will only be using the terminal program and not the GUI front end since the latter option doesn't provide an easy solution to install HP plugin drivers. So, launch your terminal program and try executing this command. Your Linux distro might execute that command successfully. Otherwise, if you notice this output telling you that HP setup command doesn't exist, then you would have to install HP lib program first. Once you've installed it, you can proceed with the previous command we were trying to execute. Now for the next part, I'm assuming your printer is connected to your computer through USB. There are three options listed and you can select either one by typing in the option number. But since we are interested with the USB option, we will proceed with option 0. Press enter. The next prompt will be downloading your plugin drivers. Press D and hit enter. This may take a few minutes while your plugin driver is being downloaded and don't worry if your progress bar doesn't move at all. Just wait for a few moments and soon you will be prompted to accept the license agreement. Press Y and proceed further by entering your pseudo password. This finishes the HP plugin installation part. The next few prompts will be configuring your printer. For this, you can either skip leaving the prompt blank by pressing the enter key or take your time to configure your newly set up printer. Then the final prompt will ask if you would like to print a test page. I recommend printing one. That way you would know if your HP printer works on Linux. If it doesn't, then the problem could lie either with your printer or with the HP lib version installed on your Linux distro. But if you are sure the printer is okay, then the best solution is to switch to a new Linux distro and try the same setup procedure again. That's it for this video. Hope you found it valuable and successfully got your HP printer running on Linux. Let me know your experience in the comments section below.